flying on a parachute or maybe you were dreaming about it you know my friends who is the heroes of my next painting Janet and Paul they also never fly in a parachute but they told me that all their life was like a skydiving and you know God really has a great sense of humor he can speak about things which is very important since which is very deep inside us since which we don't even know what's happening and what's going on he can speak in a very humorous way about those things same happened to paul and janet god spoke to them through my painting he reminds things which been happened to them and i did know nothing about it and this is such a privilege when god can use your painting, my painting, as a tool to speak to people around you. Or speak to people, not even those who are involved in this painting as a hearers, but people you know. People who could just uh, call you and say, you know, this painting meant a lot to me. It just spoke into my life. Well, I nearly forgot. This painting called Paul's Angel. And Janet is really became his angel in his life but they are amazing people lovely people people who is giving a hard workers people who work and give and bless people around them so this painting is represent the long life represent the blessing represent the ups and downs so and i just want you to be blessed by it Okay, when I first saw the um, picture, I, I was obviously very wowed by it, by the, just the detail and how she had captured exactly what we looked like. But the longer I've lingered and looked at it, I realised it was like a personal picture from God about things that have happened in our life, especially, especially within our marriage. So, quite some time ago, we'd gone through a really bad time and. Paul was hurting, I was hurting, but for different reasons, and we were pulled apart, and life was really difficult. And I remember one day, I just went upstairs, and I just sort of cried out to God, and I said, actually, God, I can't take any more of this, and I just really want to leave. I want to go. And God, I just had a revelation that he was saying to me, and if I had done that to you, where would you be right now? And I was suddenly, pulled up sharp and he said I want you to go downstairs and I want you to tell Paul that you absolutely love him and that nothing he does will ever stop you loving him and at the time I didn't feel anything like that kind of love for him but I knew it was God and so out of obedience I went downstairs and as I walked into the living room Paul was actually knelt on the floor and he was playing worship music and I took his hand, I took my hands and I got a hold of him and I said, nothing you do will ever stop me. And I, I, before I got the words out of my mouth, the love, I felt the feelings and I know that he felt it. And we just knelt down together and we cried out to God. And from that day, we were just restored and we were able to build and build and build on our relationship with God. And that picture now is a picture of Paul and I united together 
and I know I'm on the top but that's not we are equal in our relationship but the way that we've been painted with me on the top it is just kind of like I was his angel at that time I was his rescue and his answer God used me to bring that answer to him and now that's the picture, we're flying together, we're flying together with God, we're free, we're able to love God, we're able to love people, we're able to see that it's about powers and principalities, and it's just about letting God just release you and letting him use you in whatever sphere he needs to do. And that picture, is a, I, I look at it daily, it's a daily reminder that we are rooted and established together in God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. It is just kind of like I, I was his angel at that time, I was his rescue. Thank you.